Hi, this is Chris Terrell. Uh, today we're going to be doing the if function. Um, the if function is pretty simple. Equals if, and let's say if that is greater than that, then this, comma, that. So that's just going to tell us who has the higher pay on that. I'm actually going to show you how to create um, create this on the back end in Excel. So let's head to the back back end, Alt F11. Actually have it open. I already have my module open. If you didn't have a module, you just select this, collect, select module, go down from there. I'm going to call this function if code. And we're going to be passing a string. So we're going to do S1 as string. And then we're going to be passing S2 as, as variant. The reason we want to do variant because it could come in as a string or a number. It could come in any different whereas and this is going to be S3 as a variant as well. Okay, so there's our function. The if code is it. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to go TST. That's going to be our variable, and we're going to go evaluate S1, which is basically a st we're passing it a string, and then we're going to go if TST equals true, then S. Oh, we're going to finish off our end, our end, our if statement. So if it's true, we're going to say we're going to say if code equals s2. Of course, if it's not, we, there's the else function there. So code equals s3, and those s is all those are is just custom variables. Uh, let's go ahead and walk in. See if we got it right. It's our first shot, so you never can tell. So we're going to come in here. We're going to go equals if code, and then we're going to go if that is greater than that. We're going to go comma Sarah comma Rob. Should come out. Answer should come to Rob. So let's see if we work here. So this is going to evaluate this string right here to tell us if it's true. It actually says that it's false. So it's going to turn that into false. It's going to return S3, which happens to be Rob. And there's our function. Let's actually just test it here to make sure that this one works exactly the same way this one does. So we're going to go equals if code. You always want to make sure that everything adds up right. So we're going to go, we're going to go if that is greater than that, comma this, comma that. I think I did it. I think I did it different. It's just the only way to tell is to run it. And that comes out just the same. Let's try it without a number. So what we're going to go is we're going to go equals if code this equals Jim comma true comma false. And that returns a true. So that's working just like a charm. That is your if statement in code. Pretty cool little function. That evaluate function is pretty cool. It just evaluates that string just to see if it gives you a, returns you a true or false. That's your if function in VBA code. Thanks for watching.